What's up, everybody? We're back at it again with another Just Chillin' series. I'm gonna be doing another uh, This War of Mine. Um, I actually played this again, and I actually had everybody survive, and I felt good about it. So I thought, no, maybe let's do another one. I'm here with Mr. No, Sean. I, I, no, don't, don't pull that crap, man. Oh. I asked you to do another one. Give me no credit. Yeah, you asked me to do another one, but I actually did beat it, and I was like, mm, I thought about it. Yeah, but now, now, now you're making it seem like it's all your idea. I didn't say it was my idea. Mm. Um, I think I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with Marin. Yes. I go with the person that bolsters spirits, because you did get a, quite a few guys who were lightly... A, uh, oh, great. And of course, they start me off in the snow. Just what I wanted. Oh, fuck that. Alright, if, if I was in that game, I'd be the one guy who would be immune to snow. To be honest here with you, I don't mind cold weather. Well, I, I could care less about cold weather, but well, obviously there's other benef there's other things that snow does do. I know what you mean. Months of incessant bombardment have turned this part of town into a sea of ruins. While most of the residents have fled to seek shelter in districts less exposed to sniper fire, the abandoned tenants attract those less fortunate who have nowhere else to hide. Marin lost everything in a fire that destroyed his workshop. Boris and Amelia once had families and now they are both lone survivors. They come across a house that still offers protection from the elements and decide to weather the siege together inside its walls. So this is our new house, boys, boys and girls. So I need to hurry up and figure out how the hell I'm going to unlock most of this shit, because I have a feeling that a majority of it is not. Uh, the lock's pretty simple. I should be able to open it. It's going to be locked. If only I had the shovel. So basically how I think I'm going to play this is that I'm going to have somebody go in um, and like clear out a certain place and then I'll have this big guy, the tank basically, come in and take all this stuff. The one guy does all the unlocking and all the sorting. And the second guy comes in and he's got the big backpack and he takes everything. Yeah. Works for me. Okay, so I gotta get this stuff. I gotta get a heater up fast. Actually... a weird flag for Czechoslovakia. No, no, but no, 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 you don't do that. Come over here. You better stay oh, inside during the daylight. Frozen to my bones, we must get heating that quickly. I forgot how to... I wish the, I wish I could use the, the... What? The Czechs turns fascist in my game. And the French are communist. Well then, this game went really, really bizarre quick. I'm like the only democratic nation left in them, um, uh, left in the, uh, in Europe. Everyone else is either fascist or not allergic. Okay. Or there's communism. Okay, in case you guys didn't know, uh, it's too uh, cold in here. Nobody knew. This guy is actually playing Hearts of Iron. Not a game that I'm interested in, but uh, you know, he's best, he, believe me. You know, he he. He plays it. I play it a lot because I like it. And I, I to be honest, I, I, I would have probably, oh, I probably would have bought it myself. You're bound to get cold in this day. Demi being Mr. I'll play it now. It's taking well, too long to get the shovel. So I can get a bit of cash. I have my hands on the shovel. Like, no, buy it now. I'm like, but I don't have the cash for it. Oh, fine, I'll buy it for you. I literally just said, wait like a few days till I get some cash, and then I'll buy it. And he buys it for me then. And I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah. Probably would have bought this game myself, but not. Nah, he's just like, nah. Buy it. I'll buy it for you now. Hey, then. Yeah, I don't want to waste my picks on freaking doors. Uh, I'm not actually sure how fast all these guys are. Slightly sick. You're slightly sick. Okay, come over here. Check and see what's in there. Nothing good. Nope. Not at all, boy. 
So I've actually how much do you I have one pick and no door that's open. Okay, so basically what that means is that I'm gonna need you to finish that up. I frozen to the bones and oh, must get some heat one. quickly. Actually. You're bound to get cold in this damp chill. The game actually gave me a free thingamajig. That's cool. A free what? Uh, heater? I forgot what it's mm. called. Works for me. Sweet. Now I don't have to make it. Ooh. This is good. Stop standing there and do some goddamn work. I have to do everything around here. Ah. We got food and another pig. There we go. Now I don't have to waste resources on that. Uh, anything else out here? Don't feel too well. I think I have a fever. Got so many damn convoys. Uh, let's see. Okay, so you're done mix doing that. What do we got here? Oh, we got some good shit. We actually made quite a few pigs. You want to know uh, what was the, um, in my opinion, there was one uh, branch of the U.S. Army I'm during World War II that doesn't get much respect. You know what that is? What? The Merchant Marine. You know what those Never are? Never heard of them. Never heard of them? They're no. the men and women who manned the convoys, escorting, or uh, basically they're, they're in the convoy ships, them, hauling supplies from the U.S., to all the other places they needed them, France and the UK, and they would bring supplies for the troops. It was a big thing, the Merchant Marine, and they had a high loss ratio, mainly due to U-boats. You know, you know, I, I, I looked, I was watching like a bunch of Company of Heroes videos. Uh, you know, like trailers and shit, because I was bored. Um, and I was just thinking to myself, because because people in the comments kept saying available. that they should make a. It's easier to fall ill when it's cold. Some kind of a, a campaign for like the Germans. And I'm like, well, I mean, that's not a bad idea. Like they could so obviously do show. it. Like just keep it in Europe, but do it before, you know, the Americans did a landing, and. And, um, nasty you know, have them fight like the French and the, and the British, basically. I think, uh, a German versus Soviet would be better, in my opinion. Well, see, the reason I say the Western Front, you know, with the French and the, when the British, is because they actually win that side. Whereas, with the, with the Russians, you know, they, they go pretty far... But they get pushed back eventually. And well, that's the, that, that, that's kind of the best part. When you, in my opinion, when you do a campaign on the Germans, you don't want to make them seem, you know, yeah, you want to make them seem strong and, and buffy and bulky, you know, as, as a strong military force. Because oh my God, they were during that time. But you don't want to make them seem like invincible people on the battlefield. When you have them fight the French and the uh, the British, you do realize the invasion of that portion of Europe, Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, France, lasted only a, a month and a half at most. It was a short invasion. And then they were conquered and done and over with. Most of these battles lasted two to three days. Unless you're talking about the battles of like Paris and stuff like that, those things lasted like almost a whole week. But the point is, the battles were short, and the Germans were superior, just superior on the field when it came to the British and the French. The French were outmatched. Ruined block of flats. This block of flats has seen some heavy fighting. Most people had fled the area before Vincennes rebels clashed there with the military. The battle was over now, and there should be many things left to scavenge because people weren't leaving in a rush.
the troops were scattered. And, you know, the officers didn't know what they were doing. It, it was almost the same thing with the British, except for they actually had a decent high command and they knew what they were doing. But they were still uh, underarmed and their troops weren't well equipped. So, if you're going to do a German campaign, the Russians are the ones. Because the Russians... Well, the Russians got more slaughtered. Uh, That's so the point. You, you, you look at the Russians and they sacrificed so many men uh, just to push the Germans back a few freaking blocks down the street. The baby carriage isn't empty. A few objects lie scattered inside. A rattle, a smiling red crab, well worn by the baby teeth, a feeding bottle half full of concealed mass. That was probably a baby formula. Someone must have left in a terrible rush, or maybe they didn't need them anymore. It was terrifying for the Germans because there seemed to be no end to the amount of Russians that were being thrown at them. In the Battle of Stalingrad alone, there was so many Russians, and it was just terrifying to think there could be any more. Well, I don't know. I just feel like it would be better uh, to have it on the eastern side because they just completely destroy the French and the British, like push them completely out. Whereas in the Russians, it's not like they could go to the other side of Russia. You know, maybe go like a quarter of the way. Oh, they took about a few states worth of territory. Uh, they, they, their line was very confusing. It started to bulge, actually, now that you think about it. Because they were, when it came to the portion between um, Minsk and Moscow, that portion of territory was more heavily defended than the territory between Kiev and Stalingrad. Because uh, uh, the higher uh, towards Leningrad and Moscow is where most of the um, the Russian defenses, like the the, what, um, the Russians, focus their defenses on this diamond formation. Uh, their forts would go from Minsk to Leningrad, to Leningrad to Moscow, to Moscow to Kiev, and then to Kiev to back to Minsk. Of course, you you're not looking at the map. I am. But um, the whole point is they created this diamond formation that acted as a shield for Moscow. But when it came to Stalingrad, they kind of breezed through. So you can see this kind of bulge in there uh, in the front line as you go, as you look at the Moscow front pushing towards Moscow, slow moving front because there's tons of fortifications and it's heavily defended. But as you go down south towards the Black Sea, you see there's less fortifications, less focus on there, so they breathe through it easier. And you can you see like this straight line going down from Leningrad towards Moscow, and then all of a sudden after passing Moscow, you like get this giant bulge as they stick out to grab Stalingrad. But that's not what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say is that I think that it would be a better story to go on the western side because they actually win. Whereas with the Russians, they're still fighting, but then they get pushed back. That's kind of the that, that, that's my point making here. I'm saying if you're making a campaign for the Germans, you should do it on the western side because you're actually winning. Whereas on the Russian side, you're pushing them back, but you're losing at the same time. So let's see. Uh... I, I I would think putting the Germans up against the Russian the Russian German front is more gritty, and I feel that it makes more interesting. I feel it's more interesting when you have a gritty front like that. I don't know. It just... I think it would be the other way around. Okay, so what do I need to make? Uh, I just went to a... Uh, a place and I got a shitload of stuff. And this guy packs a I whole lot of stuff. Uh, I don't know what I should do. Oh yeah, beds. I should probably make beds. Of course I can't do that until I actually upgrade this shit, huh? Oh no, I can make a bed. Let's make at least two. Right there. I haven't slept in some time. I'm gonna have issues here. Lots and lots of issues.
Yeah, I'm gonna have issues here in the next few minutes. If I don't get more troops on the southern front of Poland, I'm gonna get invaded. I had a beautiful girlfriend, Anna. We had a kid, a wonderful son. Luca was just like me. He was only seven and already stronger than all the other kids. I bet he would have grown up to become a great weightlifter, as I always wanted to be. If I, I had saved him. him. I can use some rest. I don't feel so well. I think I have the shivers. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna completely finish this, because I'd imagine this would be a lot of episodes. Uh, oh, come on, man. I know you're not gonna be here to talk to me. I'd gladly eat something. So let's I'll, be, see. I'll be in spirit. You can fuck me. Let's see if there's more fuel in. Be in spirit, man. I'll always be there with you. I'll be there by the moon and stuff. Alright, what do we get? Any medicine? Yay, we got a bandage. Oh, that sucks. Uh, it's better than nothing. Okay, so. What else can I make? I need to make nothing. So. Okay. Can I upgrade this? No. Damn it, Bob. So what did I, I win? That thing. Get out. What? It's getting cold. I can really use some rest. Cool. What do I win? Nothing. What? You heard me. Nothing. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, you got me with that one. Okay, so let's see. Uh, well, it looks like I need to upgrade this thing. God damn it. I need more of that shit. How old are you again? 15? Oh, that makes sense now. Uh, it's easier to 16, fall. actually. Ooh, way to correct me there. <laughs> Screw it, chili man. Think about the German army on my front line is just under arm. Like, there's two bars to a division. Like, yeah, the division gets two bars. The green one, attrition, which is basically how organized they are. The orange one being their supplies and their food. strength, which basically means uh, is every guy got his gun and his equipment and all that. And some of the Germans, uh, some of the German army uh, uh, divisions uh, don't have, you know, a full orange bar, which basically means that their divisions aren't 100% armed. I'd gladly eat so something. So I'm hoping this doesn't mean that their industry uh, I'm hoping this means that their industry isn't a hundred percent efficient at the moment it's easier to fall ill when it's cold uh, is there anything else that I could possibly get nope just that one little corner and then this house will be completely empty I could use some brass you're empty I'm empty since uh <sighs> I feel I got a tactical bomber and produce those now. Drag, will you be the leader of my air force? As long as I get the Star Wars music. Fine, you get Star Wars music. And now you're the leader of my Air Force, what's your first action? Kamikaze! <laughs> it's a funny part, because that's naturally an option for every nation now. My stomach is rumbling. That's kind of gay. It's not, actually. Well, certain nations need to do national focuses. Uh, did you know that the Russians actually had... Uh, plans to do kamikazes, but uh, yes, it was more directed towards crashing them into tank columns and convoys and trains rather than ships. 
it was called the New Soviet Man or something like that. The New Soviet Man Initiative. And it was just attempting to get people to uh, uh, do kamikaze crap. I need to make an axe. You're an axe. I could use I'm some Can I Shit. ask me a question? Is that what you're gonna say? I'm gonna fucking turn around, fucking bend over, and fucking hold my cheeks together. Can I okay, ask cool. you another question? God damn it, Greg. Why the hell do I still spend time with you? Because you're gay. You wanna prove that? You said it right there. The why truth. do I play why do I spend time with you? Uh. It's easier to fight ill when it's cold. It's like less spending time, more hopping on this dig. Let's see. How about no? Oh uh, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it here. Uh Jesus do it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Your know. parents raise you better. What parent? Nigga, I grew up in a divorce. Fuck them up, parents. I'm living by myself, nigga. Self-taught. How'd you learn how to fucking shave, then? It's not that hard. Get a razor, simply shave yourself. And find Ends the up shaving his dick off. What do you mean you don't know how to get up there? Get up there, you fat fuck. Hey, what you doing, young man? What? That is some bull. Some bull honky. That is some horse doo doo. Horse doo doo. That's a f that, 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 that's a new one. I'll take that bullet. Fuck it. I'll take this shit too. Why not? People are gonna get pissed off at me because I'm like, you know, pressing everything when there's a grab all button. Dead guy right here, I just realized it. And would you know? Oh my god, look at all this good shit right here. That ain't good shit, that's terrible. I don't need these fucking books. Fuck these books. Here, oh, a book. Yo, couch, nigga. Uh, wait, did I have. Nope. Eh, no, no, no. What hell's the Polish guy armed with? I, I, I. I'm, They're I'm armed with at... poles. You know, the ones that you swing your tether ball around? Fucking pole guns. Are you fucking retarded? What are you stupid? Shut up, dude. Trying to figure out here what gun that is. It's pretty simple, really. The gun, that's all you need to know. It's a pole, nigga. Alright, it's getting late. I think I might hit the sack. I gotta take care of stuff tomorrow. I'm gonna guess. Actually, what time is it? Like 11.52 right. for me. I got stuff I need to take care of tomorrow morning, so really I can't stick around. Look what I got. Plus, I didn't even do the chores I had I was supposed to do today, so. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm hungry. Of course, you would be fucking hungry, chubby. All right, so let's see. What do I need? To upgrade the. Oh, of course I would need that. And I was using all of that shit to. Get a traitor. Uh, um, I guess I should make another one. Uh... Yeah, nobody likes books. Burn that bitch. Actually, not true. A lot of people like books. Actually, someone that I fucking uh, what is his name? Blackhawk. Oh, yeah. He likes books. Well, really. He doesn't play video games anymore. That's all he does is read books now. Books. He likes his knowledge. He likes them novels.
Uh, all right. Well, I guess I'll have to play Poland another day. Sleeping on the floor was terrible. The hell's increasing the world tension. The German right, but what the hell are they doing? What are you, stupid? Oh, apparently they're doing war justification against the Netherlands. Please. Not the Netherlands. Hell, no me. way. Do for now. Uh, no, Durag, I won't. I'm not gonna help uh, what does she want? She better not be a new person. Actually, wait. You eat this. I swear to God, if she's another person, then I have to... Where are you going? Eat that. I heard someone outside you. Okay, stop banging the damn door. Thank Jesus you Christ. for opening the door. I will do for now. Save people from a collapsed building. Thank goodness you are here. A shell hit the tenant down the street, and people are buried beneath the rubble. Please, help me pull them out. Every pair of hands is needed. We will organize a makeshift hospital for the wounded at my home. I have some beds and medical supplies. Will you help? Uh, give me a sec. I understand you need time to think about it. I understand you need to think about it. Uh, let's send somebody that's poor, really tired. Let's send, let's send you, Emily. Emma, Emilia. Amelia. I mean, that's how you say that. Yeah, he's... Please, come with me. One of the things in this war of mine that I've had issues with is I feel like the characters you take control of all of a sudden become a collective mind and they don't question anything. Just like you're extremely tired and you don't want to do anything and then all of a sudden you volunteer them to do something and you're like, I if I was that person I would I'd reject that idea but like, no, screw it. Uh, it depends on the mood that they're in. Like if they're in a state where they're like depressed, then they're not gonna do anything. They'll literally just sit there, and fucking read novels about how they could have had a better life. And then the next day, you wake up and they're dead. I heard that there was an animation where a guy actually gets hanged. I don't know if that's true or not. It's getting cold. I'm freezing my balls off. Uh, I, I I hope not. We've got no fuel. Maybe we should chop some wood. We need to see okay. if we can do something to burn. I don't like hearing people dying. Damn it, I need one of those little cogs. Damn it. The one from Gears of War. Gears of War was an interesting story. My name is Martin. I am a handyman. If something broke, I can fix it. Any worthless trash lying around? I can make plenty of useful stuff out of junk. And I don't waste material. All of them. Parts, bits of wood, plastic pipes, and all other things. I know how to make tools, furniture, stove, heaters, whatever. Give me enough time, I can make the place look like a proper home. And I wish it was equally as simple as mine. I'm glad we helped those people from the collapsed house. It was the right thing to do. 